Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching Dark. This is the eighth episode of the first season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just clicking it, put the password in, and enjoy. So last episode, interesting information revealed again. Yes, Helga, you know, Charlotte's husband's dad, it seems to be, uh, had some sort of connection, association with the disappearances of the kids that happened in 1986. Yes, interesting there. He's the one with dementia. He's the one that's been talking about it's happening again. Um, and we did see some of his backstory. Basically, you know, he was questioned by the officer, and he was supposed to go to a station and give a statement, but that day never came. It never actually happened and obviously we've seen Ulrich looking into that and he's trying to figure out you know why he actually took a different path uh, home from work than the one that he actually usually does take so now there's more detective works going into it it's going to be interesting to see obviously what is revealed with that we did see that obviously uh, his son obviously Charlotte's husband had some sort of connection on knowing that something was about to happen because he along with Ulrich's brother was in that little container um, I don't know what you call it like a bunker and when he was sat down and they had the diary didn't they and it said 917 um, um, and that is when, obviously, we've seen Jonas go through the door with the power going on. And we've actually seen that inside of there, there's some sort of connection between, obviously, 2019 and you can go through a pathway, it looks like, into uh, 1986. This is the first time as well that we actually seen somebody other than the guy that's appearing to give Jonas information, a time jumper, actually return to the present from the past or the past to the present and then back. You know what I mean? Like, he actually uh, went into 86, he went around, he was going to go and speak to Mikhail, show that he was there, but then the guy jumped in and basically said that if you do that then you're going to change the course um of events that's going to set off a ripple effect into the present and basically it's a life for a life do you know what i mean you could either go and save Mikel's, but you'll end yours if you save him then you'll never be born you know what i'm saying like he needs to be here in 86 and grow and never actually be found so that your parents can actually meet and you can actually be conceived so it's like a double-edged sword do you know what i mean lose him and save you or lose you and save him He's ended up going back to the present and then sitting down in front of his mum and basically just saying, you know, um, do you believe in fate? And uh, he ended up giving her a hug. So really interesting stuff that's going on. I'm excited for today's episode. I do not know how it's going to end. That is the mysterious thing that's got looming over the series. You know, how are we going to conclude the first season? It's going to be exciting. I cannot wait to see what we do. Thanks for checking it out. If you do enjoy it, please smash the like. really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump in to the eighth episode of the first season of Dark. <laughs> Oh, look at that, mate. Das sieht wie auch Kinder. Sie sehen seltsam aus. Als hätte sie jemand verkleidet. Unser Denken ist vom Dualismus geprägt. Eingang, Ausgang, schwarz-weiß. Gut, böse, alles kommt in Paaren daher. Haben Sie schon mal was von der Trikette? Eine dritte Dimension ist nichts vollkommen. Es gibt nicht nur ein Oben und ein Unten. Es gibt auch eine Mitte. Zukunft, Gegenwart und Vergangenheit. You know, that's actually interesting because that is true, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, I've never really thought about it before, but everything kind of does have something to counter it. You got up and down. You got left and right. You got yes and no. You got good and bad. You know what I mean? Like, you actually do kind of have something that obviously counteracts something else. Um, but there is a center. There's a middle. There's three. Like he was saying, the trifecta. This here, just looking at that right there, it says in 1953, I sense at the very start that that Egon was the officer from, obviously, um, 86, and that's him in the past in 53. Now, he did say just then that you also have the past, present, and future, which is interesting because is he going to be talking about the future, i.e. past 2019, or is the future 2019 and the past 
is 53 and the present is 86. Do you know what I mean? Because it looks like that guy who's gone back, who's speaking to the clock person, think he's an 86 and that's their present. But the future would be obviously Ulrichs and the past would be 53. Depending on what timeline you're in, you've got to follow which one's going. And obviously, if Ulrich goes back into 86 and he sees his son, then maybe he changes the future, which is obviously where he's just come from. So I can't wait to see, obviously, what we do with it. He's going to be well confused when he goes back because he can actually see himself. He'll know who he is when he goes there. No way. <laughs> Get into your tighty white is go on. Du wartest hier. Was hast du denn da gestellt? Ich war auf der Baustelle. Ja, schön. Auf der Baustelle, da war alles voller Polizei. Polizei? Zwei Leichen, mitten auf der Baustelle. Was redest du denn da? Die sahen aus wie Kinder. I wonder who his dad is. It's obviously that guy, but like, who is it? I have so eine Form von Verbrennung noch nicht gesehen. Vielleicht eine Brandgranate. Interessant auch, dass die Uhren vollkommen zerstört sind. Made in China. Made in China? Alles, was die anhaben, kommt aus China. Tätowierung ist merkwürdig. Also, ich habe schon einiges Sonderbarer gesehen, aber das hier. She's got to figure out that it's a different entrance. You know what I mean? Because it has the tape around it. That's what gives it away. They're coming out somewhere else. Sie schreiben über Nietzsches ewige Wiederkunft desgleichen. Oh, look. Das Universum, das sich ausdehnt und wieder in sich zusammenfällt. Es gab nur 500 Exemplare insgesamt. Sie schreiben über den lunar-solaren Zyklus, in dem sich alle 33 Jahre alles wiederholt. Ja. Yeah. Aus kosmischer Sicht, ja. Was in Ihnen drin? Wo kommt das her? Warum einer zum Mörder wird? Ja. Wird man so geboren oder wird man so angemacht? Das würde unsere Arbeit jedenfalls erleichtern, wenn wir es vorher wüssten. Wo willst du das hier hin? Können wir uns die Leinenstrümpfe kaufen? Lass mich in Ruhe! Schrei doch, das hört dich eh keiner. Beim alten Herrn könnte der Zaster doch aus Norden. Oh, no way, look, Ulrich. Abmarsch. Ist hier gerade jemand vorbeigekommen? Ein alter Mann im Schlafanzug? Ein <lacht> old man in pyjamas. Wir stehen in einem unendlich großen, dunklen Raum und leuchten nach links. Der Strahl sollte auf ewig in die gleiche Richtung weiterlaufen. Ein Bodenloch verändert die Topologie der Raumzeit. Es ist mir da, wo es hingehört. You would know that something is different. Look at all the cars. Guten Tag. Können Sie mir helfen? Sie, hier bin ich von hier. Ich suche die Killinger Straße 61. Da wohne ich. Es ist die Straße runter und dann rechts. Mein Name ist Agnes Nielsen. No way. Und ist mein Sohn Tronte. Wir sind neu in Winkel. I'm Ulrich. <lacht> I'm Ulrich Nielsen. <lacht> He can't get his head around it. You be fucked to him, yeah. Glauben Sie, können wir den Lauf der Dinge verändern? Jeder Wissenschaftler würde sagen, nein. Es verbietet der kausale Determinismus. Und was liegt in der Natur des Menschen zu glauben, dass sein Leben eine Rolle spielt? Dass sein Handeln etwas verändert. Kann ich Ihnen behilflich sein? Sind Sie Hagi Tannhaus? Der Hagi Tannhaus? Ja. Nein, da wird doch nicht derselbe aus. Welches Jahr haben wir? Welches Jahr? 1953. Es könnte der Zeitabstand zwischen den Ebenen eines tertiären Wurmlochs sein. Also es ist nur eine Theorie. Aber es könnte das Pudelskern sein. Du bist spät. Ich habe dir schon mal gesagt, dass du pünktlich sein sollst. Claudia, ich habe das Geld zu Hause vergessen. Ich bring's dann später vorbei. Tronte, 
Claudia. Ja, und das ist unser Hund Knutchen. Ich hoffe, Sie haben nichts gegen Hunde. Hm. Mein Mann ist nicht so oft zu Hause. Der arbeitet bei der Polizei. Manchmal denke ich, er glaubt, er ist ganz allein verantwortlich für diese Stadt. Ja, wollen wir uns dann oben mal umschauen, ja? Hallo. Hallo Ines, hallo Jana. Das soll Papa so abholen. Oh, hey. Ist sie fertig? Nun hat das der Baustelle von Dr. Zwerlei hier hm. gefunden. Zwei Kanonen, Spuren von außerirdischem Entwürfen. If history is repeating itself, oh, he's left his coat, and it's gonna say like made in China or something. Basically, if they're saying that the cycle happens every thirty-three years, history is repeating itself. In this timeline here, two boys died, but in eighty-six, did it? Uh, you know, we don't know how many died. We just know that Mads went missing, and in nineteen, technically Mads is dead and souls uh, Eric, but Mikkel's taken. But he didn't die. So, like, if you kind of look at it, two people died in 53 that we 100% know about. It was them two found there. Two people died in 19, which is Eric and, well, Mads. Uh, I'm assuming that he didn't die in 86 because he was found in 19, unless he counted as a body in 86. And he was never actually found then, was it? But then if it's history repeating itself, other kids should have died, shouldn't it? You know what I mean? It's interesting, though. Um... Imagine, I always just think me, imagine going back into the past and seeing your parents or seeing somebody that you know and like, you'd be baffled, wouldn't you? Like, I, I literally would love to go back and see my mum and my dad at like 10, 12 years old, just getting about in school and seeing how they reacted and what they done and how they dressed and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It would be so interesting to see. The Entdeckung der Uranspaltung hat ein neues Zeitalter in der Geschichte der Menschheit eingeläutet. Kernreaktoren wirtschaftlich nutzen verändert die Welt. Und wir bauen hier das erste deutsche Atomkraftwerk und bringen der Gemeinde auf Dauer damit Stabilität und Wohlstand. Sie sollten sich eher fragen, wer etwas gegen den Bau des Kernkraftwerks hat. Das Kernkraftwerk? Ich sprach gerade mit dem Stadtrat, es geht um die endgültige Baugenehmigung. Und da tauchen zufällig einen Tag vorher zwei Kinderleichen auf dem Gelände auf. Kernenergie bringt Wachstum und Reichtum. Eine ganze Nation. Musst du nicht auch langsam mal zurück nach Hause? Und ich krieg noch die Mark von dir. Du noch weißt, wo mein Kind ist. Seien Sie sich beruhigen. Oh, Sofort. Was geht dir vor? Die beiden Jungs, die heute früh gefunden wurden, die sahen die aus. Die sahen die aus, hatte einer davon braune Haare und gefällt elf Jahre alt. Wieso wollen Sie das wissen? Mein Sohn. Mein Sohn ist verschwunden. Alles, was ich wissen will, ist, dass Sie mir sagen, ob eins der toten Kinder mein Kind. Kennen Sie einen Doppler? Helge Doppler. Den Jungen von Bernd Doppler? Nein, nein, nicht Jungen. Alt, etwa 70. In Alt gibt es nur Bernd Doppler. Halt, See, he's, try he's trying to figure out still, do you reckon, that he's in that time? I know he's still focusing on Mikkel, though, which is great. You know, he's not actually just forgetting about what he's there for. Ich möchte verstehen, ob ich sie ändern kann. Ob alles eine Bestimmung hat. Und wenn ja, wer über diese Bestimmung bestimmt? Egon. Sie sind da. Ja. Die Frau in den Kinderzimmer angerufen haben. Von jetzt an, das ist Egon Tiedemann, mein Ehemann. Guten Tag. Darf ich fragen, was Sie ausgerechnet hier nach Winden verschlagen hat? Das löchere Sie doch nicht so. Den Weg runter zur Stadt. Sie ist die ganze Zeit bei uns und dann war sie plötzlich weg. Wo ist denn Helge? Vielleicht ist Gretchen bei Helge. Ja. Ich nehme dann auch die Zukunft, die Vergangenheit. Das ist wie bei der Frage nach dem Huhn und dem Ei. Ich kann nicht mehr sagen, welche von beiden zuerst da war. It's true though. Like, I, do you know what? I would love to know that. Somebody is going to probably comment in the description, do you know what I mean? Like, about the egg and the chicken story. But like, if a chicken comes from an egg, then how did the first chicken get made? You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like the humans as well. You know, people will say, God, fair dues. You know, you believe that? Sound. I'm not saying that's not true. But it's just that thing, innit? You know, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? In the future, for a chicken to be hatched or, you know, born, then an egg has got to be ha uh, laid. Do you know what I mean? So, like, the action to the future is going to change, obviously. The past, it is quite clever. And also, you know... 
as we're talking about past and as we're talking about the future, if I give you the chance now to go into one of them, so look, I'll put it down, cards on the table, pick one. You could take the past card or you could take the future card, you know what I mean? And you could jump as far as you want. So you could go 100, 200 years back, 100, 200 years in the future. You've got one choice, though. What would you pick? Now, although I'd be so fascinated, as I was saying a minute ago, to go back in time and see how my parents lived when he was younger, I'd also love to go back in time and see how people rocked about, you know, in horse and carriages and cowboys and how everything was just totally different. You know what I mean? Like, because... Right now, in the present, we've got information on the past and we've seen how they lived completely different to us and it'd be so fascinating to go back and live life the way they did, knowing what we know. Do you know what I mean? But, although that's so fascinating and it's so good and obviously you see that kind of like in the Westworld that we posted on the channel, I would have to jump into the future quite far as well. And the only reason why is the future is unknown. It's a question mark. We have no idea what's there. But in the past, we've got some sort of knowledge you know what i mean we've got scriptures we've got you know hieroglyphics you know fossils dinosaurs you know what i mean like we've got some sort of hardcore facts that we can go back and kind of give us a visualization of how life was lived and even though it's fascinating i would love to see it and experience it the future of the unknown is where i'd want to be i'd want to see if there was life forms and extraterrestrial is that what it's called terrestrial beings around you know different life forms and different planets you know what are we going to create in the future you know what i mean like so when i was in school we had no phones that was touchscreen. We didn't have colours or anything like that. It was just totally different. And how far technology has progressed in a short period of time, a thousand years from now, what is going to go be going on? You know what I mean? Like, how crazy and futuristic are we going to be and what life forms are going to be discovered? I would need to know that more than the past. I would love to jump into the future and have a look. Yeah, wieso? Imagine him killing him. Oh, he done it. And we got a visual of the first hit as well. Do you know what? It's a bit mad seeing like a kid get dragged out. You don't usually see it, if I'm being totally honest. He looks so tiny. Sie müssen mir dabei helfen. 
<laughs> so yeah, we'll be scrambled if he was him as well. Oh, look at him back in the past now. Look at that, a phone. He ain't got a clue what that is. Imagine if he could call his wife, though. Nah, he can't have cell service, would you? See, regardless of whether it's, this is your present, so do you know what I mean? Like, regardless of whether he's from 2019 and he's gone back to 1953, which is a mooch away 66 years ago, like, the actions that you undertook there will still play a factor in your head. Do you know what I mean? So, for example, if I went back in time 33 years and I shot up a bunch of kids, right, just because it's not the present and it's the past, it doesn't mean that I've not done those actions and I probably feel the same as I would then as if I'd done it now. You know what I mean? It's always going to be that thing in your head. I have just attacked a little kid and killed them, murdered them, because that's what he did. Literally cold blood. Kid was just sat down, he's gone over, he's grabbed him, he's chased him, he's hit him, bashed him over the head with the rocks and pulled him inside. And I've got to give credit to the show for doing that in terms of... You never see it. You never see little kids get attacked and killed. And if you do, it's the insinuation of like, you know... Him knelt down and him bashing the kid's head, but you see it from behind. You don't see the kid actually getting hit. And you did hit. And then when his body's obviously lifeless, you don't see the body getting dragged. You'll just see it get placed down. So I don't know. I thought it was interesting to see a little kid the size of him be pulled around like you would do with normal dead bodies. It's just like you don't see it. And I just feel like it's just uh, it's a ballsy thing to do to put in and fair play to him for doing it. Now, he's absolutely messed up the whole timeline now. Do you know what I mean? We've been told that one little thing ripples everything. And we do know that obviously in 2019, Helga was there. He followed him into the cave and that's how he's got to this situation. But now he's eliminated him. You know, in 1953, he's killed him, which means that he is no longer alive in the present, which means he's no longer follows him into the cave, which also would mean that, you know, um, his son wouldn't have been pulled out or if it was Eric, I can't remember the body that he was dragging. But all of life... That's happened from him will no longer cease to exist, which means the chain of events and the reactions and everything that ripples from that is going to be absolutely massive. It really, really is. You can't actually go back in it now. The kid's dead. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be really fascinating to see. Now, obviously, this guy finding the phone and the images, it's going to show that he's from a different time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you found something like, if I found something now and I pressed it and it was a holograph that popped up and it was like something futuristic, I'd be like, what the hell is that? I would know that this isn't from, you know, 2024, 20, well, 23, not 24. Um, and I'd be fascinated. And this guy would be as well. He'll never figure out that that's a, that's a phone. You know, nobody's going to call it because there's no service and, you know, he's not going to dial out again because there's no service. But what he is, what he could do is look at it and see it in the pictures and be absolutely confused and baffled of what he's found. Now, again, interesting. We're talking about the future, past and present. It makes sense. It actually does. And if we're doing the 33-year cycles, you know, it would have happened before. And obviously this guy's gone back and he wants to he wants to eliminate the, wor the, the wormhole or the pool or whatever you want to call it from the caves. He wants to just create it so that it's this machine that's just got the one soul one. Not too sure why. Maybe it's because people are dipping in and out whenever they can. They don't really like that. But the whole point and the whole purpose I want to know is we see all this unfolding. We see all of this happening. But, like, we don't really know why and the purpose of it yet. And that's got to be revealed in the next two episodes, so I can't wait for it. Okay, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. You know what? You know what I like about the show so far is that we are eight episodes in, and not every episode has been with the same character, if that makes sense. So we might have an Ulrich in the episode, but it's a different one. It's a younger one. It's the past self. And we've had the characters' names and insinuations, but not the same one. Not the older Ulrich. We've had younger ones. And it's the same with all the characters. The person, so to speak, or their um, their name or whatever is in the show, but like their visual rep representation of themselves has been totally different ones. Like Egon, you know, today it was a younger version of himself when in, you know, 86, it was an older guy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's totally, totally different. Egon's in it. 
but it's totally changed and i can't wait to see obviously how the death of this little kid now is going to affect the future you know what i mean it's going to be really really exciting we still need to figure out all this map stuff that yons has got on the message that his dad was leaving and he said that he had no choice but to kill himself because the cycle is about to happen again um you know what i mean if this has happened before it's going to happen again it's a it basically like you say if you stood in the room and you got an arrow and it's you know the light shouldn't be positioning back but it is it's time it spins around you know what I mean? So, again, you know, we've seen Inez. Is that a name? Inez? In I-N-E-S. You know, the girl uh, who basically adopted Mads as he got older. Um, you know, the one that was sat there in the present with his letter. Um, you know, we've seen her as a little girl here in the past. And we also seen, obviously, uh, Ulrixi's mum, which would be, again, really fascinating. Now, again, interesting stuff that's going on is around the power plant. We've seen in this story, it was just about to be built you know what i mean the guy was stood there he was preaching how it was going to revolutionize the city the area provide jobs and secure it. and i kind of understand that approach to kind of doing it you know i remember in the uk royal mail is literally our postal service who deliver all our letters now obviously we have other services that deliver parcels dpd ups you know what i mean but like as a posting if i put a christmas card in the mailbox you know there's only literally one service thing that does it and it's royal mail and basically if you join that it's a job for life and uh you know i know that uh family members and um you know just older people in general that i've uh, known and met like who joined it when he was 16 and he get them secure and he still work there now when if you know like 56 there it's let's say a job for life and that's what he was saying there this thing will provide will be the first power plant in the state or in the country he was saying and it'll provide publicity provide jobs and security for everybody in the families and obviously it gets a green light it's got the go ahead because we see that now in the present but also in 19 it seems like it's closing down i, I feel like they said it was going to close down earlier on in the season, but obviously, like, quite a lot of stuff's going on. And trying to remember that far back, some minuscule is quite hard, but I'm sure they were saying that. Again, we've had somebody new kind of introduced. It was a woman. She had grey hair. She had everybody's uh, faces on the walls, which is decent. And I like the three stages of the characters, you know, people who was alive in 53, and obviously now in 19, we've got the past, present, and future pictures of themselves. And then people who've only been alive from 86, so obviously the future in 19, you've only got that, uh, the past, uh, well, it would be the present in that one and, and the future. So, like, if you're following it, the future, which is the present to us anyway, well, I take it as the one that Jonas is in, is the present, but obviously it seems like the present is 86 and the future is what Jonas is doing. Um, you know, it's interesting to see the characters and the different versions and formations of themselves and obviously the Nielsen's and obviously the... Um, the other families and uh, the the characters from when he was younger to now to the present is uh, it's exciting and obviously i want to see how it actually goes and plans out and finishes and i don't know how he's getting back if i'm being totally honest if i'm talking about Ulrich, um, you know he's got a kid missing him um in mikel but he's also got two kids in 19 and if he stayed here to find him, he's lost all three. <laughs> you know what I mean? And obviously, if he gets a 19, then he's lost his kid again. Um, no, we did have a redhead. I don't know what person. I'd like to know how the kids at the start of the episode, when he died, how they got there. Who put them there? Clearly wasn't Elga, because he's obviously been killed in today's episode, and he's only a young boy. And now, obviously, by doing that, are the kids going to die again? Is Mads going to die? Who is this guy as well that's talking to the one who at the very end who was told to leave, who approached Jonas? Like, who actually is that? What's his name? Has it been revealed to us? Because I kind of feel like, imagine that was Mads. You know what I mean? But I don't think it is, because his body's been found, like, two episodes ago, so mysteriousness that's what it is the whole show is just full of it thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys